They say it's the hope that kills you. Can I finally run this race without falling apart? Can we finally put the demons of this race to bed? Or will they come back to haunt us? Just want to get to the end now. This is where I always fall apart. And I won't lie, <coughs> the thoughts started creeping into my mind. Either way, we'll get a good goodie bag. Roll up the Kayleigh's market stall, see what's in the goodie bag. Marshalling. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> well, today's about me seeing where my fitness is and can I finally run this race without falling apart halfway through. Today's the day, or is it? Third time's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> found Johnny on the start line. Uh, I got here on time. <laughs> yeah, it's a miracle. Yeah. Johnny was with us today. Okay. Yeah, I saw you on one of the videos where yeah. you slept yeah. in. <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, That's you have to we'll, we'll So, are you looking forward to it? Uh, yeah, I am. I was just going to say there that uh, so I missed the last bus. Did you? I missed the last bus. I was getting ready to take the chip off and put it in the bin. So I was like, you know what, I'm having this. I'm going on. Paul Riddell, Night in Shining Armour, goes, Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> Yes, I do, Paul. Yes, I really do. So, is this the year that I'll finally get over the demons of the peer to peer race? Such a great race, but always one that I struggle with and sort of mentally fall apart around the halfway point, probably because I haven't been fit enough. Twice that's happened. Please, can this be the year where this doesn't happen? We're going to find out. So the route is an interesting one. It's South Shields Pier to Sunderland Pier in Roca. And the course is strange because I don't think there is actually a route that you have to follow. You can get there any way you want, but you're just not allowed to go on the roads or on the paths next to the road. So very interesting. Obviously you start on the beach and you finish on the beach. You can see here we're just coming off the beach, which is the hardest part, I think. It kills a lot of people off in the first mile, including myself normally. Feels fast. Listening to blue. It's all good. So far. Well, we're only 100 metres in, so I'd hope so. Give us a wave and you'll be on YouTube. Around two miles in, and we're along the cliff tops on this trail path, and I'm in a little group of people here, which is keeping me going quite nicely. But they always like to put a few obstacles in the way. So I'm now heading down the stairs. And you can see, not too bad. Yeah, I won't be taking it too easily. Trying to get a good time here. So back up the steps. Now the thighs are burning. But uh, we're onto the grass. And off we go. That group's split up a little bit, but we'll keep on going. Worth me for me. Don't even have the words to speak. Well, apparently I've got some words because I just spoke. I'm two and a half mile in and I'm knackered. Do this. Back on the grass again and I won't be patronising anyone telling you what that red and white building is like I did last year. That's a lighthouse. Drinks ahead. Now, I haven't actually died yet, so I'm thinking while I'm still alive, I should keep on running. No pun intended there. Uh, so I'm not going to take a drink. I'm going to crack on, and I'm doing pretty well at the moment. So we'll see if the customary falling apart happens in the next mile or two. Four and a half miles just over. Um, it honestly does not get easier. <laughs> I'm enjoying it more than last year, but my legs are dead now. Everyone seems to have a kick, and I don't. But never mind. I'll see you at the beach for the finish. 
As this race is organised by Sunderland Strollers, who I obviously run for, and probably more so the fact that I'm an amazingly famous YouTuber, a lot of the marshals were cheering Thank me you. on as I went past, as you can see here, which did keep giving me a little boost as I'm going along. So still going well, but you can see the support was great. <laughs> We've hit the tarmac now in Sunderland and there's 1.8 miles left and this is where I always fall apart. And I won't lie, the thoughts started creeping into my mind now saying you're going to fall apart. Get to the end now, 1.8 miles and now you're going to slow down and ruin this. And I was running really well and I just didn't want to fall apart again. I gave myself a talking to and I cracked on. You can see the lady in front of me, Jackie from South Shields, a really good local runner. I just want to focus on beating her and seeing if I can close the gap. So that was the challenge I set myself. Thanks to the guy that watches our channel. <laughs> so, I think just over a mile ago, uh, he's a lovely Claire. Oh, okay. Hi, Give us a wave, Claire. <laughs> nice to see you. Yes, are you? Good running. <laughs> I'm dead now. <laughs> nice to see some friendly faces at the end. Oh, let's do this. We're about to leave the tarmac and hit the beach to the finish, which you can just about see in the distance. Jackie's still ahead of me, so I've still got a lot of work to do, but I do have a good sprint finish, so I am still pretty confident. One thing though, just to mention, when you are struggling in a race, and I've heard this from other runners and I've adopted it myself, the last mile or two, depending on your distance, if you do what I'm doing here and concentrate on a target in front of you and trying to beat them, it takes your mind off the finish and you can just you actually run a better time as well because you're competing against someone who has obviously no idea that they're competing against you. So I'm going well and you can see I'm getting a good sprint finish going now. Doesn't the end of a race feel like forever? It's like never ending, is it? But it is just in front of me. You can see I am going well. So I'm about to go past Jackie. And yep, yeah, I've gone past, and so now I'm just trying to pick off as many as possible now to the finish. One thing to take your mind off it is running through the sea. Look at this, the tide's coming in. Ankle deep in water at the end of the race actually feels quite refreshing. That's going to be uh, a lot further in uh, later on as some of the other finishers are coming, so they might have to get their armbands ready. Right, last push to the finish. I'm still there pushing, and we're at the finish, so just a few metres to go. No idea what time I've done. I know I've run well. I haven't fallen apart for once. I've actually enjoyed it, believe it or not. Through a bit more of the sea, and we're going to cross the line. So what is the time? My previous best was 51.51, and I have run 46.52 which is four minutes 59 faster than my best ever. Wow, I well and truly did not fall apart. Come on, sprint finish. Bring she thinks on. I've got a sprint finish, it's not on. Wendy forgets I'm not as competitive. Just want to get to the end now. Now, Wendy didn't want to go Not through the water here, but I think going through the water was the best bit of the whole race, if I'm honest. And it was next to the finish line as well, so there wasn't far left to go. What a brilliant end of a fun race. Woo! Come on, Kaylee. Well turn, Wendy. Come on, Kaylee. Go on, nearly there. Market stall, seeing what's in the goodie bag. What a war! And there. Loose laces lager. And. Da, 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 da. That was a water bottle. For those that didn't know. Da, 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 da. Stroll on from the strollers. Oh, let's have a look at the picture. 
Yeah, it's Sunderland uh, Marina or yeah, something. Yeah, Sunderland Marina. Yeah, very Marina, cool. Yeah. You don't um, get this at uh, Great North Run. I think it's to put your phone on. Oh, yeah. It's to remind me never to do this race again. A little book of good things. Right. Am I in there? No, you're definitely not in here. Teach an elderly person to use a computer, surf the internet, or write an email. Right. Um, <laughs> gummies? Oh. Never had a gummy, have you? Nope. Ah, uh, that was mine. Ken's lovely glass memento. And one more thing. Yep. Most importantly, a pen. Ta da! Oh, fit, fit. Oh, yeah. Wow. That she is a good teacher, as well. And that you are. So that's why you should do this race, because the goodie bag is the best in the business. It's the only reason you should do this race. <laughs> right. have we learned a bit of a serious one but after not being able to run the Sunland half because of covid and not knowing how my 12 weeks of training had gone i think today proved that training pays off work hard get your rewards job done i've learned it's not as bad as you think keep smiling chatting to people get you to finish uh, it's a great race it's a great race yeah great buddy fan we can't not mention Johnny, who's done no training, so we knew he would uh, find this very difficult, because it's a tough race. So what did he do? Took 12 minutes off last year's time, broke his 5k PB, his 10k PB. And beat his Andy Curley. So what has Johnny learnt? Don't bother training. Yeah. You're faster when you just turn up on the day. So well done, Johnny. Well done, Johnny. You did amazing. Keep on running.